uh, and about COVID and the vaccine, the U.S. Army is sending letters, and I, I sent Rob a photo, to former troops saying that in light of the removal of the COVID-19 vaccine requirement, they uh, cannot apply to, to get their reasons of discharge changed. This means derogatory remarks or dishonorable discharges can now be removed or reversed. Notice, notice how, how weird that is, right? They're also inviting unvaccinated uh, people to join because recruitment numbers are down. So all of a sudden, they stop their mm. vaccine requirements, right? But not before forcing thousands of soldiers to get the wow. jab, Pat. Just like our friend, Pat, Major Katie Hernandez. She's yep. a really good uh, a friend of ours. She's on my podcast. She now suffers from myocarditis, okay? Now, uh. those soldiers should be able to sue. And that's the letter that Rob uh, has up right now. And it's like, Pat, all this, like you just nailed it. She up. should get her VA benefits so she doesn't go broke I on that. I think 100%. She just, she, she just got stationed uh, somewhere else. She was here on the show. But it's like, not really. Now you're telling them, like, hey, listen, that dishonorable discharge that, mind you, and Pat, you know this, it ruins your life, Adam. If you have dishonorable discharge at, on your record, that is nobody's looking at you. Well, that means the government doesn't trust you. So now what? You're going to reverse it now after you've already ruined my life? F you to the government for doing that type of shit to these people. And and speaking of, Pat, I, I'm going to stay on the vaccine, uh, uh, vaccine topic. While I was going down this rabbit hole, I started seeing videos and some of these articles about something that you never hear about, and it's the Amish community uh, when it comes to the unvaccinated. Like, their, their children, because our, our numbers for, for aut autism and ADD and all these chronic illnesses are skyrocketing. In the Amish community... The percentage of their children having all these diseases, Adam, is very, very low, e mm. almost even non-existent. And it's like our government, our government has been studying the Amish people for decades, Tom. But you know why none of these come out to the public? Because it would destroy the CDC and all their narratives about uh, forcing all these drugs on our kids. It's crazy that you never we you think of Amish and people are like, look at those weird, yeah. look at those weirdos. But you know what? Those weirdos as children are not dealing with the shit that our kids are dealing with because they haven't been forced all this poison. N narratives hate sustained per data sets. Vinia, yeah. Perfect segue to my point. And um, look, um, <laughs> am I trying to go uh, Amish on you? No. no. But listen, I, one of the great honors of being on this podcast since PBD started this in 2020 is learning, right? I've been wrong on some things. I've been right on some things, but I've learned a lot. And one of the biggest things that I've learned uh, is the, the need for traditional family values in America, okay? The, the nuclear family, two-parent household, and understanding what makes the world work and what makes relationships work and what raises kids the right way and watching how Pat raises his kids and watching how Tom raises his kids. Like, Vinny, you and I, we've been pretty selfish, right? You've been focused on your stand-up comedy career. I've focused on making money, doing everything with that, partying in South Beach. But, you know, there comes a time in a man's life, whether he's 30, 40, 50, whatever the freaking number, where you realize, all right, there's more to life than just having a good time and partying and telling jokes and all that. And I do want a family one day, you know, dealing with some different women out yeah. there. I get it. We're honing in. Trans women or no, just no, women? No, no, just regular okay. old, old Got school you. women. Got you. But I, 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 all my best friends are married, 99% of them. I assume most of your friends. Yeah. I'm Uncle Adam to all these kids. I have a nephew, like... I, I want to have a family, and it scares the hell out of me to see that this is what parents have to worry about, these LGBTQIA+, woke, transgender, this is what kids are being indoctrinated with, and it's scary as hell. And injected so, with. And, and injected inject with all, as well. Of course, forcing, so, the, forcing something inside of them. So, you know, you famously, I quote it all the time, whether someone should be selfish or selfless, and for, if you're a young person out there and you don't have a family, you don't have kids... You should be mostly selfish. Make your money. Do your thing. Look your best. Feel your best. Act your best. But once you have, you're married and have kids, you have to be way more selfless, right? 100%. And it, it, it's just very scary to see what's going on out there. And uh, I understand why parents are freaking out. And I understand why this is such a hot-button issue. I would not want my kid dealing with the nonsense that's going Hell on today. No. Well, I'm glad these service people are going to get some relief because normally a U-turn like this from government only happens in election year. And at least it's not... Oh. Oh wait. Oh wait, yeah. <laughs> but and, so Pat, being cuz this is an article of, of the army, you were in the army. How do you feel that they're doing this now to these pe to these thousands of people, Pat? You were in, I was in. How do, how do you respond to something like that? You're getting a letter now saying, "Hey, well, my bad. 
Rob, go back to that ad, the the one that says no vaccines to join the military, whatever ad you have. Zoom in a little bit. This is what the recruitments are yeah, putting exactly. out. Yeah, exactly. So look at this. U.S. Army, COVID vaccine <laughs> not required. Career opportunities, over 150 jobs, up to $50,000 of establishment, uh, enlistment bonus, full-time, part-time, guaranteed, uh, uh, 19, 18 pay per month starting for officers, 36, 37, over $70,000 for college, 4000 tuition assistant, guaranteed job for choice, no... Two, three, four, five, six year uh, uh, enlistment option. Hundred percent college tuition. Travel the world. Thirty days paid vacation. Army training and course uh, count towards your college degree. So, can you imagine how embarrassing it is to not have to say vaccine is not required? The lead story. You know, they say yeah. don't bury the lead. Yeah, That's the number one so thing by the U.S. Embarrassing Army. Embarrassing that they have to say some like this now. For them to call back the other guys and say, hey, come back. This happens. That part is normal. Elon Musk fired 50% of the company, and then he realized, oh, shit, we fired some of the people we needed. Yeah. And they're like, listen, mm-hmm. can you come back? I, we need you. Can you come back? And some of them came back. Someone said, screw you. I'm not coming back. This happens everywhere. Um, the Army made a mistake. The military made a mistake. And it, the, the people that were forced out and were publicly humiliated. We had a guy on here that was forced out after 14, 15 years. And we had him talking two years ago, how he felt, what he was feeling like. It was emotional. This is all you know. You want to do 20, 30 years in the middle. If you had 14 years, you know what you want to do? Six more years to get your retirement. You're trying to get your 20-year retirement. You're trying to get to your 25, 30-year retirement. But uh, I'm not surprised. Bad ideas keep getting exposed. It's continuous. The only thing I ask is we need accountability and for people to not have a short memory when they try to do this again. Again. (laughs) That's the biggest part. Again. The next time, be loud. You saw what they did. Don't sit on the sidelines and say, you should take it. If you don't take it, you don't care about the elderly people. You don't care about your parents and your grandparents. What if your grandma died? What if your mom died? What if you this, that? And they would put this fear in everybody. And uh, it was a very weird time. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.